All right, today our viewer question is, when you start a plant-based lifestyle, where does the plaque in your arteries go? Oh my, very important question. <clears throat> Most people in Western civilizations, um, Western societies, uh, ultimately die of clogged arteries. And uh, this is an inflammatory disease. Our inner artery walls get inflamed because meal after meal of the standard Western diet, cooked animal protein, dairy products, uh, uh, hydrogenated oils, high fructose corn syrup, uh, phosphoric acid and cola drinks, this chemical assault that we, that we launch against our artery walls meal after meal, week after week, month after month, year after year, 20, 30, 40 years of that, and the arteries get pretty raggedy, uh, and they start building up this atherosclerotic plaque made of uh, the inflammatory reaction to the oxidized cholesterol in the meat as you cook animal muscle, as you grill the chicken breast, as you broil the steak, you oxidize the cholesterol in the animal muscle. Uh, and as you eat that, these oxidized cholesterol molecules burrow into the wall of this already inflamed artery and, and the body responds with the atherosclerotic plaque formation. Uh, and this is what eventually kills people as the arteries get so raggedy that they set off clots uh, that the clot stops the blood flow through the heart or up in the brain and people die of heart attacks and strokes. So uh, how does this get reversed? And what if you've already had significant plaque and heavens knows many people do, uh, as Dr. Esselstyn who deals with these people with, that are so clogged up they can't walk across the room without getting angina pectoris or uh, uh, some sign of uh, severe uh, blood deprivation due to their clogged arteries. Uh, well, it turns out that this is a reversible disease. Now, when you stop hitting yourself in the head with a hammer, the headaches go away. You know? And if you stop injuring those arteries and meal after meal, the bloodstream is carrying the, the antioxidants and the phytonutrients and the dark green leafy vegetables and the salads and the vegetable soups. And these molecules promote tissue repair. They quench free radicals. They, they give the chemical message to the walls of the artery, <laughs> calm down. Uh, and as a result, uh, the inflammatory component of these plaques, the inflammatory cells, the swollen um, artery walls, the edema, the, uh, the pro-inflammatory molecules, the uh, tumor necrosis factor, the prostaglandins, all these molecules seething in the artery wall, keeping that plaque uh, enlarged, engorged, ready to rupture, they start subsiding. And, uh, you know, if you sprain your ankle badly and it's all swollen and blue, eventually uh, the swelling goes down as the days and the weeks go by and the blood flow carries away uh, the inflammatory reaction. The swelling goes down. Well, the swelling goes down in the artery walls and the cholesterol plaques from all that oxidized cholesterol, when you stop eating oxidized cholesterol from other animals uh, and you bathe the uh, the artery walls with the antioxidants, especially in the dark green leafy vegetables. Dr. Esselstyn wants his patients every few hours to have a mouthful or two of kale or chard or broccoli just to, uh, just to keep the, you know, the blood filled with these antioxidants that percolate into the walls of the arteries. Uh, and the, the plaque, uh, as the inflammatory cell starts uh, dissipating, uh, the small deposits of cholesterol get carried away uh, in, the, in the blood flow. Remember, this is the inside of an artery. The blood flow is going by in 25 miles an hour. Uh, and, the, and similar to a sandbar in the middle of a fast flowing river, it eventually wears away. The sand gets carried away. And the same thing happens to the plaque inside our artery walls. Um, the, the plaque starts dissolving. The HDL high density lipoprotein uh, carries away a lot of the, of the inflammatory forms of cholesterol. And the same way as the sandbar wears away, the plaque starts to regress. It's quite remarkable to see before and after arteriograms to see these arteries open up as the plaque melts away. So where does the plaque go? 
Now the inflammation, the inflammatory component subsides because of the anti-inflammatory effect of the diet and the atherosclerotic plaque itself uh, dissolves in the blood flow and it's carried up to the liver. The liver dismantles uh, those cholesterol molecules and secretes it into the bile. And the same way, where's the swelling in your sprained ankle goes? Well, it, it goes back into the components of the bloodstream and uh, in the liver and the kidneys take care of any waste product. Same thing happens with the inflammatory condition called atherosclerotic plaque formation in your arteries. So, uh, so what a hopeful sign. No one ever told me that in med school when in the 70s. And even now, the cardiologist, when you ask them about this disease, Relentlessly progressive are the two words. It's, it's relentlessly progressive. Once you get this, nothing stops it. Those plaques just get bigger and bigger until they rupture and kill the patient. That's right, doctor. Don't talk to the patient about their diet. That's what you're going to see. It becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. But that's because we're putting the wrong fuel through these artery uh, tubings here. Uh, no wonder the inside gets uh, gets abraded. It's like putting diesel fuel inside a gasoline burning engine. No, no wonder the gasoline is going to foul up. Uh, but you get them on the whole food plant-based diet that we were designed to run on. And these plaques melt away. The, the inflammatory reaction calms down. And uh, they have people get their lives back. They get their circulation to their brains back, and to their heart back, and their muscles back. It's a... Uh, it's a rejuvenating process. It's a life-saving one. So uh, absolutely... Give your body a break and it knows just what to do with it. Give it the right fuel and those plaques will melt away. That's such great information. And like you said, there, there's so much misinformation out there. So to know that that's something that you can reverse and, and completely have go away. I think that, that your analogy about the sandbar was a great one. So thank you for spreading that information and, and answering that question. Oh, you we, all, we appreciate oh. it. You bet. How empowering. If you've got that power, use it. Uh, heal yourself. And uh, everything gets better from there. They say, person, you're as old as your arteries. And uh, here's a way to make yourself more youthful. So uh, eat plants and, and go for a walk. Hi, everyone. Dr. Michael Clapper here announcing our new format for our Q&A with Dr. K. Annie Hagen will be asking me one question that's been sent in by our viewers. So if you want to see if your question is getting answered, do join us for our Q&A with Dr. K right here. Hope to see you then.